Hey, good day everybody. Welcome back to The Yoga Show and ACTV on a beautiful sunny day. Today we are focusing on neck and shoulders and relieving tension pretty much in the entire upper body. So what we need today, this is a, um, a very gentle class. It's geared for seniors um, and those perhaps a little less mobile and everything will be on the ground today, okay? What we need today is a cushion or a nice big rolled up towel and perhaps a block, that's up to you with your regular practice, but we do need a strap or a belt. All right, so a cushion and a belt, and you're good to go. So let's start sitting comfortably, nice and tall. Our legs are crossed, and let's just roll the shoulders a little bit here, just loosen up, and we wanna make sure that our spine is nice and tall, and we're pulling up from the crown, and there's no sitting like this at all, so we're not hunching back at all. So pull up from the tailbone, up through the ribs, up through the crown. And just circle one shoulder at a time. And if you feel like just moving the ribs around, rocking and rolling a little, that's perfectly fine. Just do what works for you. And just keep this motion going. So we want to kind of loosen up and lubricate the joints a little bit before we start any kind of practice, anything, walking, anything. Walking, we loosen up our ankles, our calves, right? Same thing, let's reach out to the side, thumbs up to hitchhiker, and pull the thumbs up and back, opening the shoulders, and then roll the thumbs forward and down. And feel that nice rotation. Try not to lock out the elbows, keep the elbows a little bit soft. Open and back, hitchhike, down and back. And keep going with this. You can inhale as you open, and exhale as you close, but actually it really doesn't matter on this particular move. <laughs> Just keep breathing. Open it up, close it off. Open, open, close. A couple more, open. Really feel that rotation in the shoulders. It's going down to the upper arm, isn't it? It's also going into the upper back. And relax those shoulders a little bit. Nice and tall right here. Pull the chin without a tech neck tuck. This would be our tech neck tuck. We're just going to draw the chin down toward the sternum. Okay, the difference, this isn't it. I see a lot of people do that. So we're not gonna do that. Just tuck the chin down into the sternum and slowly scrape your chin as if you're scraping along the side of the chest over to one shoulder until you're looking to one side and then slowly scraping, dusting off that chest again, center, and up to the second side, ending up looking at the side. And just very slow and smooth, keep this going. We're still sitting tall, our collarbone is nice and open. Our biceps are facing out or forward, our palms are up. And just keep this going a little bit. This is going, you're noticing, probably all the way down into your trapezius here. And as it should, without overdoing it, just be comfy. Just be comfy. Today is a pretty comfortable practice meant to relieve stress and tension. A lot of our tension that we feel in the neck doesn't necessarily initiate from the neck. So that's what we're going to work on here. With your feet together, we're going to go into cobbler or butterfly. With the bottoms of the feet together here, and your knees open, we're still going to sit nice and tall. Take one hand in front anywhere, and the other hand behind, and take a very gentle twist to one side. So we're bringing this down into the lower back a little bit. Obviously, we're feeling this in the upper back. The shoulders are down. Our chest is still open. And just enjoy. unwind here. Today also we're going to do a couple of repetitions here and there so anytime you feel a hold is a little bit too long just unwind yourself rest and come back. Holding this neck stretch the bottoms of my feet are together the soles of my feet are together inhale and unwind here release that back a little bit don't want to go overboard in our twists ever we want a good warm up before. So this is very, very soft. Just warming up our back. 
our rear delts. We're feeling this probably a little tightening up here in the back of this shoulder as it pulls back. That's exactly what we want. That muscle is just tensing a little bit. Exhale, nice tall spine and twisting to the other direction. Breathe. And back to center. And relax your legs for a moment and go back to the shoulders and let's circle that again. Hopefully I'm on the right camera, so. <laughs> if not, forgive me. I'm just gonna keep on going. Roll the shoulders. Now switch directions on this one and roll the shoulders forward a little bit. Couple more. And this time we're going to cross our legs in front. We're going to do our cat and puppy dog arches sitting up. So legs are crossed comfortably in the front here. I'll turn a little bit and hold on to your legs a little bit as we inhale. Pull on the legs a little bit and lift the chest up. Let the head drop as it wishes to. And then on your exhale, curl and tuck from that low back first, pulling the middle back backward. And just keep going. Inhale. Notice I'm holding onto my legs here. This is giving me some good leverage. And that's just what we're supposed to do. So we're not floating, okay? We don't want a really good stretch here. Now keep this going for at least six to eight. Enjoy the opening of the back here. Inhale, lifting. And exhale. And inhale. We want to be mindful that the shoulders are not hunching up to the ears here, but that they're down, especially in this position. They're down. Our chest is open. And we're pulling, tucking, really tucking the pelvis. Work through that pelvis. Inhale, lifting two more, I think, here. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale, one more. Inhale, lift, really lift here. Let that head drop. And exhale, bring it back. Hang on here. Tuck your chin. And slowly bring yourself back up. Legs are still crossed. I'm going to turn a little bit forward. And let's raise one arm all the way up. Very tall. Now, if you wish, if you're not very limber, in the side body. You may want a block to rest on over here. Just keep it handy if you want, or a book, or your cushion. Inhale, raising very, very tall, bringing the fingers away from the body. And we're gonna come up and over. Pull the abs in tight, and on the exhale, coming over, directly over that side hip. Trying not to rock back here. We don't want any rocking back. We wanna push the belly forward while it's in. So we're pushing forward into that ever so slight neutral or arched back here. Now right here as we hold, we want our neck in alignment with our spine. So we want to make sure we're not doing this, but our neck is in alignment because we're going to shore up that neck a little bit and on our exhale, turn our nose and look up at the elbow if you can. If that's not doable, just look straight ahead or you can look down at the ground. But we still want to keep our neck in alignment with the spine. Pushing both cheeks, both sits bones into the ground. Inhale on the way up and just shimmy or drop a little forward to release the middle and the low back here. Just a little release. Especially after strong back movements. Whether it's a stretch or a strength movement, we want to make sure that we relax and release that spine before we go to anything else. Particularly on hyperextensions and flexion, okay? Inhale up, nice and tall here, very, very tall, really reaching, opening up this side, and on the exhale, a little lateral bend here. So I'm bringing this arm up and over. At the same time, I'm making sure this hip doesn't come over with me. This hip, this cheek, this hip, and this thigh are close to the ground. Both sits bones on the ground. And I'm bracing myself right here, making sure I don't fall back, keep breathing, and hold for about, I don't know, maybe six breaths here, five or six. Now, if it's comfortable for you, your muscles are probably softening and releasing by now. Neck and alignment, see if you can look up towards your elbow. That's not easy for everybody. It's a nice stretch for the neck, but again, don't push it here, just 
It's just a practice, so practice. Breathe, one more breath here. And push back up to center and drop forward. Just drop forward a little bit. And again, relaxing the spine here. One more, a little bit shorter. Okay, side one, here we go. Your right arm probably, if you're gonna mirror me, lifting up. Otherwise, just listen. Left arm is up here. Your right, again, if you're mirroring. All right, and we're headed in the other direction. So our shoulders are actually very stacked, and that means one in line with the other. It doesn't have to mean all the way over. They're nice and open here, and I'm not collapsing my chest at all. And again, if it's comfortable for you, very slowly turn your nose towards your elbow and look up. We want to make sure this bottom arm is not pushing our shoulder up into the ear like this. So let this elbow here on this low arm be a nice cushion, be a nice um, uh, shock absorber, okay? Just like on your bike or your car or on the wheels. Bring it up. Oh, big breath in. Exhale, drop. Oh, drop, 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 drop. And a couple of breaths here. Oh, nice deep breaths to release and slowly back up. Feel the nice stretch in the glutes there, hips and glutes when you lean forward. Last one, bring it all the way up. Arm number two, abs tight. Exhale on your lateral bend. Remember we are up and over, up and away and over. Really feeling the opening here in the side and enjoy your stretch. Keep the abdominals in. This is strengthening the low back. The more the abdominals are in, the more support for your low back and the less tension. Look up toward the sky or your elbow if you can for those last two or three breaths. Ah, oh, this feels so good, very open. One more breath. And help yourself up and relax. Take a nice inhale and exhale. Just drop a little bit forward, relax your arms on your legs or on the ground. Uh, there's no reason to try to kiss the floor here. Just relax, wiggle if you want to. And drop your head and just be comfy. Another breath or two. Feel those outer hips really stretching here. We like that. And slowly bring it on up. All right, a little bit more powerful here. I'm just going to change legs. Just because I feel like it, you don't have to change legs. Now we're going to take both arms, so we're going to be a little more in a float. So we're going to be floating in the air a little more without the leverage. So if this isn't working for you, go back to one arm up, all right? Lace the fingers together. Bring them all the way up, nice and tall. See if you can flip your palms comfortably and raise the wrists up in the air and the biceps next to the ears, arms as straight as possible. Focus here, inhale, lengthen, abs tight. Pull in those abs as we exhale to one side. Now, if we flex the feet a little bit, we notice we're pushing down into the outer feet a little bit, that's very helpful. That'll help keep our hips nice and square and keep our buns on the mat evenly. Inhale up. And exhale to the other side. Tight abdominals, long spine. Long and lengthy, long and lanky. And breathe. This is not easy, back to the top. Now rest your hands on your head for a second. That'll release your shoulders and then release, okay? A lot of people have shoulder issues, especially at our age, we're all seniors, so when we are super extended or internally rotated or we're floating in a posture and our arms are away or up, especially up or over the head, you wanna drop those arms and release the shoulders rather than do, okay, let's do something else because that can um, strain the shoulders a little bit. Here we go again, another set. Lace the fingers together. If you can't do that today, or if that's not manageable, you can grab your wrist, all right? Or you can come into yogic point or grab a thumb, okay? Bring it on up. Big breath, inhale, strong body. Pushing down with the outer feet a little bit 
exhale, side one. Ooh. Now, as I look forward, which happens to be at the camera, but you look forward, unless I move my eyes, I really can't see my arms. So in my peripheral vision, I can't see my arms. So I know that my arms are pretty well aligned with my ears. So I'm lucky today that I'm getting my shoulders that open today. Next one, exhale. And our manager is stretching with me. How does that feel, Philip? Easy does it. Easy does it. Nice work. Trust me, he did nice work. One more breath. And bring it back up. Ooh, that side's tough for me. Relax those shoulders. Relax the arms. Bring them in. Let the shoulders release. And relax here. Okay. Let's give our upper body a rest for a moment. Give our knees a rest for a moment and come into a gentle child's pose. We're going to come into a couple of downward dogs and just make a little switch here before we sit down again, all right? So tuck the toes a bit. Dig your toes into the mat here. This is really, really a great thing to do. A lot of people have foot problems, especially, again, when we're in our 60s. Press that dirt like you're a puppy dog. Press that dirt away. Press the sand away on the beach. Feel that heat under your toes. Toes are really flexing here. Reach forward and on your exhale, come into your downward facing dog. Very slow. Start with your legs bent. Move those legs around a little bit and slowly press the mat forward with your hands and slowly bring the tailbone up. And we're pushing our hamstrings toward the back wall behind us. Chest is gently dropping comfortably and go ahead and let your head drop comfortably here. We're not tucking the chin tremendously and we're certainly not looking toward our hands. Just let your head drop comfortably and with your legs straight, if you can straighten them, move your hips a little bit side to side because our next stretches do um, affect the outer hips a little or the hips in general. So take that little wagging of the dog's tail, which is actually the real name. Now lift the heels all the way up and lower your knees again. And just take a short rest here. Just checking, excuse me. And let's do that one more time. Reach all the way forward on the inhale, prepare. Tuck those toes, big breath, stomach tight, exhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. You can also take your plank first if you prefer and push back to downward dog from here. And just hold here. See if you can hold for five breaths. If this is too much today, of course, remember hands and knees. Four more breaths. And making sure our palms are very flat. We are pressing on the insides of the palms, that mound of thick flesh between the bottom of the index finger and the bottom of the thumb. And this will engage the upper back. One more breath here. And lift up onto the toes, comfortably bend your knees and go ahead and bring the knees down. Ah, oh, come back. Okay, that was nice. All the blood is moving around here. All right, we're gonna sit down again, bring the legs forward. So, as the bottom body is about in staff pose, something like that, we wanna make sure our knees are facing up, our toes are facing up. Whenever we're in any kind of, uh, we're going into any kind of flexion or staff pose, everything's gonna face up. So we wanna make sure we're not sitting like this. This is not a relaxing. This is not relaxing or of course like this. So, and people do start out that way because they haven't had the training yet. So just be aware. And again, it's a practice. We're gonna bring one leg up, grab it with your hand and bring it across to the outside of the other knee. We're going to take a spinal twist here in a moment, one step at a time. So if you find this is too difficult, I want you to bring your foot in line with the other hip, okay, next to the inside of the knee without crossing. So either way is just fine. I'm going to cross today. I'm going to inhale up and grab this knee comfortably, give it a little hug, and turn my shoulders to the opposite side over this knee so my left knee is up, and I'm going to turn to my left and bring my left arm behind. And you can hug this knee if you'd like to. This knee should be facing up. 
So we want to make sure it's not opening here or collapsing close. So just work on keeping the sits bones down and nice and square, okay? And hold here for five breaths. Our spine is nice and tall. If you're used to doing this stretch, you're welcome to bring the arm forward or up and bring it diagonally across and brace against the outside of the leg. Uh, preferably the arm is bent here, but watch the elbow here if you're pressing. Again, you can be here or we can hug right here. Just keep breathing. Notice on the exhales, the stretch is more enjoyable. and a little unwind. Breathe. Again, let the spine relax a little bit. So this is important. Our transitions, the strength of which we go into a posture with our transitions and the respect of the relaxation when we're going from posture to posture or stretch to stretch, very important, especially as we age, because we're not all 16 and we're not on the cheerleading squad. So we need a little bit of adjustment or break in between. Shake out a little bit. We're going to pick up the other leg, bring it across. Again, if you're across, you're on the outside of the knee. And we want this foot as flat as possible. So we're not going to be like this. If we're doing this, you need to be on the inside of the leg. So the knee faces up, okay? So bringing it across, this foot is pretty flat. Inhale, ah, and bring this into a nice tuck. Other hand, opposite hand to a hug. Same hand, same knee, back behind. Always start this um, spinal twist very gently. This um, goes right deep into the middle back, so we don't want to strain anything. And again, if you're used to doing this stretch, you're welcome to brace outside, bring the arm forward or up, and bring it across and pretty flat here. And just breathe, enjoy. Remember that our long leg is facing up, our knee is facing up, our toes are facing up. This leg is a little bit engaged. It's not hanging out like spaghetti. It's a little bit engaged. So pull that heel forward that low heel forward. And inhale here and unwind. Ooh. I'm gonna do that one more time. And again, let's shake out a little bit. Whatever feels a little tight, that goes really into my low back quite a bit. So I need to kind of massage a little bit for my low back. So we're gonna do a second set a little bit shorter. Bring the first leg across. Remember this leg is active and it's facing up. Nice little hug. Exhale. And if this foot is flat, go ahead and brace on the inside if you want to. No, oh, I went the wrong way. This is leg number one. Sorry about that. This is leg number one, my left. I knew something went wrong there. Okay, so I hope you changed. Stop laughing at me. Philip, I see you laughing at me. Hey, I'm a senior. <laughs> Breathe. Now our shoulders are down. That is a stretch, that other one. That's a nice counter stretch, but that's not what we're doing. So my bad there. Two more breaths here. Notice this is also, this is a pretty strong stretch. This is a strong move. Slow unwind here and go ahead and shake out. And last one, opposite leg, inhale up, nice flat foot here or foot over here on the inside, raising up, opposite arm up, hug or bring it to the outside, and five breaths. Chest is open. So you might be wondering, perhaps, why are we doing the stretch? Um, well, our back relates to our neck and our neck relates to our back the same way our hips 
relate to our back and our back relates to our hips. Our hamstrings and quads relate to our hips. Our ankles relate to our knees. So, you know, you get the, you get the drill. Unwind here. Unwind comfortably and let's shake this out. Okay, two more. These are super easy. So just let the body relax. Right here, we're gonna turn over onto the belly. Slide all the way forward. Come onto your belly. We're gonna lay down. Relax the legs on this. So we're going to relax the legs, draw them back, and kind of just let the feet fall where they're gonna fall. Right here, we're gonna reach forward above the shoulders as far as we can. Reach forward. And then we're gonna tuck our chin a little bit, tuck your head so our head is facing straight down so we're aligned. And rest your forehead on your mat. And just feel the stretch in the entire upper, middle, low back, shoulders, upper back, all through the shoulders, chest, and a good five breaths here. Just hold. Bend the elbows. Push yourself back up. Coming back to center. And relating to that stretch, we're gonna take our strap. Now you may think to yourself, I don't need a strap, but this is beyond a hamstring stretch here. This is where we're working the upper body here. So we're bringing one foot in. And this leg is out, not in front, but out to the side. And we're going to bring our strap to the foot. Exhale, long spine, and bring ourselves forward. Now, the point of this stretch, actually, usually we hold here, right? Not today. We're going to reach as far as we can until our arms are pretty straight and look straight down, which is forward, holding right here. I think we're not getting to our cushion today, so I'm not sure we're going to get there. So let's just continue with this stretch. Have to be continued next time, I promise. Slowly bring it up. We're going to switch legs right here, opening this other leg. Leg and knee, toes facing up. Take an inhale. Exhale, turning toward that leg. Exhale, bringing the chest toward the toes. Now I found my reach, and this is about where I'm gonna stay, so I'm gonna reach as far as I can with my arms. I don't happen to need my strap here. We're just about wrapping this up here. Get a good stretch, breathe. Really reaching, feel this all through the latissimus, your serratus, your middle spine, your, your or middle back, your low back. This is wonderful, a couple more breaths. And gently pull back up. Oh boy. And that is about what we have time for today. I want to thank you very much for watching the yoga show today. Okay, stay tuned. We've got another one coming up in a couple of weeks and we're going to do some more work for seniors, some more gentle stretching and gentle yoga movements as we continue in our practice. Okay, thanks for joining me. Inhale. Now stay strong. Take a good stretch. Inhale and exhale. Be grateful. Namaste. Thank you.